Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the newest PvP event in Guild Wars 2 and it's called PvP Rush. So basically there are some achievements which count towards this meta achievement here once you complete them and then each tier has a reward and this time the rewards are kinda nice, I will explain them in a second. To start the PvP Rush you will receive this mail from Priestess Zafira which will also show you where it is located in the map. She is in Lion's Arch at this waypoint, Fort Mariner waypoint, and then you talk to her and she will give you an achievement which is this one, PvP Rush Entrant, and it will also grant 5 champion points towards the meta achievement here, which is totally 100 points. To get started you need to press your PvP tab up on your screen, then you will have these lobbies here, you have Hunter PvP Lobby which will grant you a quick match and like you will enter you will have no queue. Then you have Play Unranked Arena, you press it and you enter a queue, then you can leave it if you don't want to. Otherwise you have the Ranked which puts you in a queue too. And then uh, this is what I would recommend unless you are a complete new buy in this game because the ranked system also has this league system here which is an additional reward track comp together with the re normal reward track which gets filled even with unranked games. So in ranked games whenever you win you get 10 pips which will fill these additional boxes and if you lose you get maybe two of them if I recall but this isn't the important thing, so in my opinion just go ranked unless you are a complete new player. Then what you have to do is there is for example this achievement here which will grant us 20 champion points towards the meta achievement here and it's an achievement where you need to kill 50 players, this one requires you to play 15 matches, this one to win 50 matches and also since uh, winning 7 matches is not might not be super easy if you are a new player or you don't have a lot of time like if you have a 50% win rate which is kinda average maybe even more than average you need to play like 15 games to win 7 and in a week sometimes it happens that you cannot do this because you don't have time or you just simply don't want to pvp so this time ArenaNet introduced some daily pvp rush achievements like the victor one where you need to win one match or the rush contender when you just need to play a game and also the rush fighter which requires you to kill five enemies and then these points will grant you points towards the meta achievement so you just need to basically do a daily pvp try to win it and also kill five players during it every day so you don't really need to achieve the pvp rush victor or pvp rush contender you can just do the daily stuff and you will easily clear the 100 requirement also for the whole duration of this pvp rush event which is one week we will have this buff greater call of the mists we get 15 percent pvp rank points more 25 percent more reward track progress and 200 magic find in only in pvp so if you have some chests which are affected by magic find when opening them there are some pve ones you can go to the heart of the mist and open them this way you will benefit from the 200 magic find from this event let's take a look at the reward the first tier is is 50 shards of glory which is not uh, really good. Then we have envelope of PvP League tickets, these are given in ranked PvP mods and uh, it's actually nice to have, it's a nice addition. Then we have coffers of ascended shards of glory, these are needed for the legendary backpack, so if you are working for it, it's a nice addition because uh, these are time gated to the PvP seasons, so this is a nice another uh, way to earn them. Here, this is the very important part in my opinion, which is very cool. This is 50 instant reward track progress. This 50 instant reward track progress provides 250 points towards our reward track. This is for War vs. World, but this, in this game right now, it's for the PvP reward track. It's the same. So basically, instead 
you get 250 points per instant reward track progress so this tier will grant you 50 of them meaning that you will get like 12k and a half of the reward track and as you might already know a reward track complete is 20k so it's all it's more this is more alone than half of a track so it's very important in my opinion if you are working towards maybe some skins like i am i am doing this reward track which is not the most profitable but still it's very nice to have because at the end you will get some unique skins which will requ require you to play pve otherwise and i don't do pve anymore so i get my skins from this then the next reward is a permanent finisher choice box this is nice the finishers are this, the thingy where you stomp the enemies and they work for pvp air war versus world here we have additional shards of glory additional league tickets and then here another ones is a very nice addition is 100 coffers of ascended shards of glory very nice to have then here th this is the most important reward in my opinion because this is 100 instant reward track progress meaning that you you will get uh, 20k 25k sorry of reward track so it's more than a pvp track alone like this one will clear you the whole track and even give you like one quarter towards the next track this is huge to have and it's like one reward track is worth around 20 gold so it's very decent to have if you are just a pvp player it's free golds and then at the end you have obsidian weapon box these are some unique skins you can get from pvp using pvp ascended shards of glory and some golds they are not really nice but uh, maybe some people like them they are kind of unique but i wouldn't like it i wouldn't like them a lot so this is not what i do this event for at this point what you need to do is just go to pvp and start playing games but to do this you need to get started maybe you never pvp'd in your life and you don't know where to start you don't know which play which class to play which build to use but don't worry because i can cover you also from this side as you might already know i have a collaboration with guild gen which has a huge sites covering every achievement every build for every mod pvp open world rides war versus world war versus world roaming and so on and then here we get the builds from the most valuable youtubers or players like Vallon for the pvp i have some war vs world guides also in this site so i would recommend going to guild gen and search for the pvp guides so you will know what to press what's the rotation to do how to carry your party and then also getting to the pvp builds here you can find every build there is also this this uh, here this thing here which tells you if the build is meta good of meta recommended for beginners in my opinion there is this defense spellbreaker duelist which is very strong then you can also go power will bender but it's a bit it's a bit harder to play in my opinion it's a less survivable if you don't press the buttons correctly so in my opinion for a starter you can go defense spellbreaker which is very tanky and also deals very high damage if you cc the enemies otherwise there are every other class you want but i am a necromancer player in my opinion you should go life support scourge or maybe condition reaper which is meta right now and is very strong so it's up to you just play what you prefer what you find funny what you are best with but if you need to get started and you need a build or knowing what to do to do in a pvp game i would recommend going to pvp guides or pvp builds in the guild gen i will link these links in the description of the video this is all for today's video thank you for watching guys please consider leaving a like and a subscribe to show me your appreciation for my videos and see you on the, into the mist, maybe we are against each other in the next PvP match. See you and have a great evening.